Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, December 8th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by the Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. I hope you had a blast at Midnight Madness last night. There are two more to come. I'm actually hopping on a plane in a little bit to head up to Boston to watch Navy beat Army tomorrow afternoon. Be sure to follow us for all the updates from Gillette Stadium, and we'll be tweeting, or I guess Xing, and we'll also have a live blog as well. We're going to have photographers on the field, all for America's game. All right, we do have some news, so let's get right into it, shall we? If you want to hear what the Annapolis City Council and Department heads all learned while they were in the Netherlands on their junket, you can tune into the city's YouTube channel today at 2 p.m. when they will make the presentation to, well, I guess they're going to be presenting that to themselves, about what they did, what they saw, and what they learned. While not the most convenient time for everybody, I do suspect it will be archived and available after the meeting, both on YouTube and on Facebook. This is a special meeting of the City Council, so there is no public testimony or interaction. The Board of Education said goodbye to Joanna Tobin as their president and selected Bob Silkworth to succeed her and to continue carrying the mantle. Corinne Frank was also selected as vice president. And with that, the board did approve a nearly $20 million contract to revamp the elementary school reading curriculum. The county has been lagging behind the rest of the state and the nation in reading, so this is a very welcome change. And the program, called the Science of Reading, has been a success across the country. It's a different way, and Dr. Bedell warned that there will be some heavy lifting to get the staff up to speed, but he is a huge fan of it as he has seen the successes firsthand. Speaking of schools, over at AACC, Crosby Marketing has named their latest group of scholarship recipients. They started this program back in 2022, and each year they offer $100,000 in scholarship money to students looking to pursue degrees and careers in advertising and PR. China Sid, Jeffrey Hopper, Christina Ahn, Melissa Wigginton, Crystal Harrison, and Tyrone Majors will all receive the two-year scholarships. And along with this comes a mentor at Crosby to help them through their years. And once done, they are offered a summer internship at Crosby to gain additional work experience. And of course... Crosby gets a first look at the cream of the crop for their hiring. We did a great podcast a while back with Ray Crosby. You want to scroll back and give that a listen? What a great company. All right, that is a wrap on the news. Let's look at some events for you this weekend. And as you know, the holidays are here and the calendars are getting full. The Annapolis Holiday Market runs through Sunday at Susan Campbell Park with more than 70 vendors in a festive pop-up village right at Water's Edge. Really a beautiful place to be. Tonight at Maryland Hall, the Annapolis Chorale and the Chamber Orchestra will hold its celebration of Christmas. Tickets are available at MarylandHall.org and the show gets underway at 8 p.m. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., be at St. Anne's Church in Annapolis for Tuba Christmas. And that is exactly what it sounds like. Several dozen tubas all playing Christmas carols. How fun. Tomorrow evening, the waterfront will be lit with boats with lights. It's the annual Eastport Yacht Club's Parade of Lights, sponsored by Long & Foster Eastport Office. The first one will push off at about 6 p.m., and it should be done by about 8.30 or so. The best vantage point, if you're not at Bay Bells and Shark Tales, in my opinion, is probably going to be the Eastport Bridge where the boats do cross under. The weather does look very reasonable. And tomorrow and Sunday, the Ballet Theater of Maryland is presenting the incredible production of The Nutcracker, a holiday favorite. That's at Maryland Hall. And if you miss it this weekend, don't sweat it. They are doing it again next weekend, too. Again, tickets at MarylandHall.org. Ongoing at the Classic Theater of Maryland, White Christmas and a Christmas Carol. And also ongoing at Colonial Players, also a Christmas Carol. I'm not sure if there are tickets left for that one, as that is a hot ticket in Annapolis. And you want to be sure to catch our local business spotlight with the folks from Langton Green. That does drop tomorrow at noon. You have lots of choices. Good luck and have fun. Today on Canines and Crosstracks, Kelly goes AWOL, but we chat about Chop and Buddy who need a forever home before the holidays. 
You want to listen to our spot now and then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for our irresistible photos and get all the information on how you can adopt them. And again, don't forget that we had that semi-new, thanks Jess, daily newsletter that features only the top news stories of the day. We send it out to your inbox at 7 p.m. every night. Yes, 365 days a year, all without a paywall. It's perfect for keeping up with the weekend's news since we don't release a DNB on Saturday or Sunday. Here is a link right here in the show notes for you to subscribe. And that's it. Now it's time just to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I do hope that we add some value to your world. And if we do, please leave a review somewhere or tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SBCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, and Scout and Molly's. Well, it is Friday. The weekend is here. And now it is time just to say have a great weekend. Be nice to others. Do something fun. Keep shopping local and beat Army. Other than that, we're going to see you on Monday. Now hang tight because George Young from DC MDVA Weather is here with the only locally forecasted weather report you're going to find. And of course, canines and cross tracks. So do hang around for that. All that's coming your way in just a minute. Hi, I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate Scout Molly's, this amazing little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. And we're here to help. Whether you are shopping for the beautiful ladies on your holiday list or for yourself, we have something stunning for every occasion, from casual to black tie. From the parade of lights to New Year's Eve, we have the perfect outfit for every event this year. Scout Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thank you for shopping local. Experience the magic of the holiday season at Lights on the Bay, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Bring your family and furry friends to Sandy Point State Park for a two-mile scenic drive featuring more than 60 spectacular displays, including this year's brand new theme, North Pole Adventure. Admission is only $20 per car. Discounts are available through our generous sponsors. All proceeds benefit the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Lights on the Bay, open nightly from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Ion Annapolis forecast for Friday, December 8th. Not a bad day yesterday for the Annapolis region, but it should be really nice out today and tomorrow ahead of a rainy and warm Sunday with temperatures cooling again starting Monday. Look for sunshine today with highs in the mid to upper 50s, which should make for a very comfortable lights parade from 6 to 8 p.m. in Annapolis Harbor and Spa Creek. With more of the same conditions expected Saturday ahead of a wet and windy day Sunday as a cold front moves through from the west, possibly bringing one inch or more of rain to the region with winds gusting over 30 or maybe 40 miles per hour at times with high Sunday, a very warm low to mid 60s. But skies will clear Monday and Tuesday, though temps will drop back down to more normal levels with highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s each day. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. That can only mean one thing. 
We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Cross Treks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher standards. Well, this is a little bit of a different Canines and Cross Treks because we're kind of missing Kelly Brown from the SPCA. Wait, Kelly's not here? No. <laughs> Dang it, it's just you and me, John. And, 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 and we're here at Annapolis Subaru. Oh, my gosh. I don't, it's, it's a home game for me. It, it is. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, man. I had to watch all the cars going out of the the soul <laughs> signs going on out the driveway. But it it's was, all uh, good. We need more. We need more. we got a bunch of cars in inventory. we got like 100 new cars right now. Well, I will tell you that I had an opportunity to experience firsthand that whole collision avoidance thing going on. Oh, yeah? And it works. It's pretty scary, right? You know, to a degree, it is. It was now. It wasn't really serious or anything like that. It was sort of a weird driveway going out with a, with a yeah. mailbox, but it was like okay. So you know, if it didn't work, I mean, we're talking not much damage. Yeah, uh, but still, it was pretty impressive. It was you know the bell, the buzzers go off, the bells go off, the lights flash, and the car slows. And it's like, hey, you're going to hit something. It's like we didn't. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's good. I and mean, you know, you think about it like this, right? Like, what if that wasn't a mailbox? What if it was like a little kid? Yeah, you know, if it was any, you know, another human being, someone walking their dog or, or right. whatever, it, uh, yeah, it, 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 I've had it activate a few times, like on the on the road. If the the chimes don't get you when the brakes apply, it's, uh, it's well, the chi- the chimes are pretty alarming as it is. Yeah, I mean, you know something is wrong. I mean, it's not just like a, oh, please put on your seatbelt, please yeah. put on. <laughs> and it, it takes like like fifteen to thirty seconds to like be like, <laughs> all right. Okay, well, that was better than getting in an accident or better sure. than hitting that mailbox, you know. So it's uh, the features work. They're they're great. Totally worked. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to talk about two dogs today. Okay. And uh, I was down there and I met them at the SPCA before I rolled up here um, because I wanted to see what they were all about. But it's Buddy and Chop, and one's been here for about a week, and the other one's been about three weeks. Uh, they look like they're perfect dogs for any number of people, but Chop is sort of a, a terrier beagle-ish mix or so and he's six months old just, a, and just an adolescent he is he baby. is he's uh he, you know he jumped up on the cage he wanted to be held he wanted to sure. wrestle and everything else so it was a lot of fun he's he's great they're not sure whether he's housebroken yet though um but he would be after six months i mean at least if he's not he's still young enough to wear to be able to train, right? Yeah. He's still in his developmental stage. You know, he's still got it very impressionable. But he is, like I say, he's a six-month-old male, uh, white-brown, so he does shed a little bit, but not too bad. Like I say, he's been in here for about a week, and it's uh, he's just, he would be great for a family, I think. I think he put that under a Christmas tree, and I, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't agree necessarily with adopting dogs at Christmas because you've got to be sure that, I mean, it's a commitment. You can't be like, oh, it's the wrong size. Sure. <laughs> and take it back. No, you, what you want to do is you want to adopt the dog before Christmas and then make sure that that dog enjoys Christmas with you and your family. I mean, how, how, how much better of an experience can it be? The other one is Buddy, who's a little bit older. He is housebroken. Buddy's a cool-looking dog. He is. He's sort of like a corgi. I mean, and it's funny, we were talking about Baby Bop, which is the uh, overweight chihuahua. I don't know whether we talked about it. On the podcast, I don't think we have, but the progress that that Chihuahua has made—it's amazing. I mean, the first time I went in and saw him, I swore to God it was a corgi, round and like a like a sausage with legs. Almost didn't you couldn't even see its legs because it uh, could barely walk and it couldn't stand. And then he's losing the weight and he's getting up and moving around. But uh, this is a true corgi mix, and they said it's mixed with a Pembroke, which I'm not even sure what the heck that Pembroke is. No. Uh, no, sounds sounds something aristocratic. I would say like like a mix with a fox, with the ears, you know, and the color. It's got a little fox he's, color. If you go on the website and look at the the pictures, the pictures that we'll post, it's he's got the beady foxy eyes. Too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, he looks like a like a really uh, really cool dog, and and he is not a young man. He is a middle aged. He's middle aged. He's well refined. He is housebroken. Um, they say his color is red, but he's more sort of. Uh, Sort of golden labby. Yeah. You know, he would be, again, perfect. Uh, probably not. I went and checked him out. Probably not for small kids. Okay. Um, just probably because he's set in his ways after six years. That's 42. I mean, you know, if you're 42 and you don't like kids, chances are. It's not happening. You're probably not going to like kids. <laughs> I 
get it. Both of those guys are available for adoption immediately. They're both fixed. They're ready to go home for the holidays. Uh, you can get it at aacspca.org. You can check them out. And uh, the pro tip when you're looking online is just to scroll to the bottom of the adoptable dogs. And they're the currently the last two that are at, down at the bottom. They're at the bottom. And uh, it was funny. As I was looking through their website, I saw there are so many dogs that are being adopted out that we've featured on the podcast, Canines and Crosstrek. So it's awesome to see. Love it. Yeah, love it's it. It's awesome to see. And I know that the SPCA is also the beneficiary of the soon to rest in peace pussers down in Annapolis for their New Year's Eve party. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, Atlas Restaurant Group has purchased the rights to develop two or three restaurants where pussers pretty much is. Yeah. So they're closing in November of 24. So this is actually going to be their final New Year's Eve bash that they're going to have. Wow, um, down there. So one the, more year of uh, of painkillers and pussers. It's that's true. I, I I hope Atlas brings like a, at least a nod to them with it. I mean, it's been yeah. a tradition there. But guess uh, you have to go all the way down to the Caribbean to go to pussers now. Although that doesn't suck. No, <laughs> no. I mean, a little longer commute. You know, maybe a little more expensive, you know, Uber ride. Again, the 31st, it's $140 per person. They've got a DJ. They've got a band. They've got open bar, uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres all night. It's not seated. And probably the best location to watch the fireworks from the city. Yeah. Uh, because you've got the the boardwalk or the, the, the deck out front out on Eagle Alley. Plus, you've also got upstairs, which uh, – and the SPCA is going to be there. They're going to be bringing their – animals and the uh, mobile pet un- pet adoption unit to cool. be able to uh, adopt. I don't know whether you can do it right there or not. I, don't I wouldn't think. recommend like, you know, bringing in the New Year's, having a bunch of cocktails and making a decision on uh, <laughs> adopting an animal at that time. But like if you wake up the next day and you're still like, uh, hey, could you imagine going out for New Year's Eve and waking up like next to a corgi? You know, and you're like, man, I came home with a they're, they're, freaking yeah, dog. How did that happen? There are probably worse ways. To wake up there, exactly that's for sure exactly oh, i saw that you had a uh, pup roaming around here yeah yeah we've got uh we've got a couple couple dogs that belong to our employees that uh that that spend some time here which is which is a lot of fun uh you know they, they like to hang out up at the up at the front door and greet all of our guests you know what's really cool about dogs in general is that they're so in tune to your feelings you know when when you're bummed out uh, you know, they, they're the ones that are going to come up and put their head on your lay, knee yep. and look up at you and go, dude, it's going to be OK. Uh, you know, when you're pissed off and you're screaming, and yelling and slamming, they're the first ones like, OK, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I don't want to be the I'll, I'll just, you know, When you get nice, come talk to me. Sure. Dogs are awesome. And again, you know, Buddy or Chop, Chop would be great additions to pretty much any family there. How are you guys doing on Share the Love? We're doing good. We're uh we're we're creeping up in the end of uh the first week of December and we've been we've been very busy so we're we're hoping that uh this momentum keeps carrying and and keeps going we have uh, a pretty lofty goal that we want to hit for uh total donation which is going to be hopefully around 60,000 everybody's got to have a lofty goal you you, you know you, you how can you you can never come on here and say, you know, we got a really weak goal yeah, this year, a very attainable and, and, goal, and, and we're going to hit it. No, yeah. I mean you've got to go, got to go for the gold. Yep, yep. So we're uh, yeah. So we've got uh, almonds been coming out uh, every Saturday. They've got a representative from from them. They come out and hang out in the showroom and talk to our customers and prospects and you know really build an advocacy for the almond foundation and then you know we're having a really uh, big take rate on our customers choosing them as the beneficiary i've not been in here on a saturday but when they're in here i mean i'm presuming they would take a donation if 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 maybe i didn't buy a subaru sure yeah i mean there's always there's always ways that you know you can donate um you know without buying a car obviously but yeah they're uh you know it's something that you know a lot of people are affected by you know cancer and and unfortunately a lot more young adults are being diagnosed every day you know it's a it's a cause and a and a and a group that helps these young adults navigate what to do how to do it you know proper things that they you know need to tell their families the different support systems that they have talking to different people that are going through the same things that they are 
So it's uh, it's a really it's a really wonderful uh, foundation. Well, for adolescents and young adults, and that's just got to be so devastating. I mean, this is there is no experience. I mean, you've never gone through this before. Okay, you get the flu. Okay, I know what that's like. I right. Mean, I know what red eye or pink eye is all about. Right. I know what the strep throats. You know, yeah. this is it's eventually going to go away. It, yeah. And this is something entirely different. And I mean, depending on what the types of cancer and the the advancements and everything else, I mean, it, it can indeed go away. The fact that there's an organization here that focuses on that is incredible. And what I really like about Annapolis Subaru is that you guys, I mean, we, we've talked about how benevolent you are in the community and everything else, but I mean, you don't get involved with anything that really doesn't jazz you guys personally. You know, this Ullman Foundation is is near and dear to your heart. I know that you had a, a very good friend, Jess, that passed away from cancer and there was a Jess Fest over the summer. You know, cancer, unfortunately, touches, I think, everybody in some way, shape or form. Yeah. But you look at what you do for the animals. You look at what you do for the kids in the school, the socks. Yeah. 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 Uh, You know, bands in the sand. And, And, you know, these are all causes that are, you know, near and dear to you as a as a company and you you know and a lot of people here personally and i think that's just really sort of uh laudable as opposed to sitting there going and i don't mean to diss on like the american heart association but like, sure. okay so we're gonna give it to the heart association this year yeah no it definitely it definitely helps when um you know you're able to rally the team and, and get behind you know certain causes that you know have personal affiliations and have affected you know people within our organization and and um, it makes it uh, it makes it more um, it makes it easier to talk about and easier to share with our customers. And it's not just hey, we're doing this because this is what we want to look good, right? We're doing this because you know we truly believe in the foundations and the charities that we support, and we're able to see the impacts that are being made on on a local level, which. You know, for for us is you know it's it's wonderful. Yeah, do we want to sell a bunch of cars and make money and do bottom, all that? But bottom line, because sure. you, I mean, that, that enables you to pay it back. Sure, but yeah, the more cars we sell, the more money we make, the more we're able to contribute to these uh, to these organizations that we support. So, and if you aren't able to buy a Subaru, uh, and this goes through January second, second yep. Uh, if you aren't able to buy one, but you do have a Subaru. Come on in for an oil change, and that'll help out the cause too. That's what five bucks per oil change. Yeah, absolutely, five dollars per service, five dollars per oil change that that is done down in our service department. But yeah, so it's uh, yeah, when we've got you know an, an express uh, service lane, we've got you know a bunch of techs, wonderful uh, service writers, assistant service managers down there that are always uh, always ready and willing to help. So. Come on in. Fantastic. Well, I will say that uh, my friend Paul, who purchased a car with you guys about a month ago, I guess it was, and he's just absolutely loving it. I'm not sure whether he's really tested the collision avoidance system yet or not, but uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's if it, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's something that you, you hope you never have to use, but when it when it works, uh, you may have to change your pants. But other than that, you're uh, you're good to go for sure. But I'll tell you, Buddy or Chop would fit perfectly in. Uh, actually, they're both pretty small pups. They so, fit in mean, any of these cars. Fit in any of them. Any I mean, of them. From an Impreza all the way up to the uh, Saltera or the Ascent. Yeah, I guess. the Ascent. Yeah, we got plenty of Foresters in stock. We got plenty of Outbacks in stock. We just got a truckload of Ascents, um, which are really wonderful family vehicles. So if you're, you know, if you're in that you know two kid range or or you know thinking about more, or you're in the one kid thinking about adopting a second or a third dog. You know, <laughs> the Ascent's a wonderful car that has uh, has the space that you would need. What are your two most popular cars? Are they still the Outback and the Crosstrek? So Crosstrek and Forrester. Oh, okay. um, and then the Outback is it just it all depends on inventory, but those three are are our main. But yeah, Outback's always up there, and then you know Crosstrek's have have gained a, a ton of popularity um, over the years, just you know with their size and their uh, their versatility and their gas mileage. So the most important question I got, I guess, for the rest this week is: Is Kelly's car here yet? Kelly's car is not here yet. And this is going to test to see if Kelly actually listens to the podcast. But I'm hoping that it will be here by the time we record next week. Ooh, so that's we'll exciting! See, yeah, so we'll keep it a surprise. See if she says from something. her. But if she says something, that means she actually listened to the podcast. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love a trick podcast. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. I love a trick podcast. Well, Chop and Buddy are here looking for their forever homes. Uh, going down to the SPCA, right on Bay Ridge Avenue to 
check them out. Go visit with them. Uh, you'll see what love bugs they really are. They're uh, ready to come home for the holidays, as have been so many. I mean, they've been moving a lot of uh, dogs and cats out of the shelter, yeah. which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, more come in. Yep. Um, so there's always something there to. They really, do such a great job there. I mean, they really do. You know who got adopted? Who that? Hershey and uh, oh gosh, the other husky. Remember they smelled? Oh yeah, they, they, they were pretty. They, they were, were pretty. They were pretty super cute. They were friendly. They were jumping all over you. It was uh, you know I I smelled them for days afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seen, but one's, they, one's like, oh my god, I want to pet you and hold you, but you kind of stink. And they went, but they went home. They went home together. They were nice. bonded. So a family adopted both of them. So awesome. Uh, but they've got That's plenty wonderful. of great animals and cats. Of course, you've got paws at the mall, which if you've got a, a pet owner that you need to find a gift for, good stocking stuffers there. Great place to go for there. Uh, you know, get a new leash or a collar or a harness for your dog. Or their t-shirts are awesome. Like I, when we were at Lights and Leashes, my daughter's got a couple couple t-shirts, and they I think they're still wearing them every day. They they kind of smelled like they kinda smelled the too. other dogs, yeah. <laughs> so, well, Chop and Buddy are there. You want to go to AAC SPCA and uh, come on into Annapolis Subaru. Uh, I would recommend coming in on a Saturday and check out the Almond Foundation and find out exactly what they're doing in the community yeah. to really help our community. If you're in the market for a Subaru, this is the place to come and market for any kind of a car. Come in and check out a Subaru because uh, this isn't the Subarus of yesteryear, like uh, you know, in the 70s and the 80s. It's a, it's a oh. completely different car. It's a completely different car buying experience. And if you want to check them out online, AnnapolisSubaru.com. And uh, come on in, Bill. You're, how, how many days a week do you work here? Are you here? So we're here. Uh, we're here you're Monday six. through Friday. Yeah. So we're here Monday through Friday. We're open at uh, from nine to eight, and then Saturdays we're uh, we're open from uh, nine to five. If you can support the Omen Foundation by purchasing a new or leasing a new car here at Annapolis Subaru, um, do that because that's going to give two hundred and fifty dollars from Subaru National. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's probably got a fancier name, like Subaru North America, Subaru maybe? Subaru of America. Subaru of America. You can select charities that are nationwide. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you select the local hometown charity, which is the Omen Foundation here, Annapolis Subaru is going to kick in another $150. So that's $400, $400 per vehicle, a car, which is going to go to helping these adolescents and young adults uh, that are going through the worst period of their lives. $400, I got to think, does an awful lot. Yeah, absolutely. So we're hoping to uh, we're hoping to, to crack that sixty grand. Definitely not chump change. And again, if you just bought a Subaru, make sure you come in and get your oil changed. Here, yep. uh, five dollars is five dollars, and as we all know, uh, every bit helps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All righty. Well, I guess we're going to roll out of here. We will see you next week. Thank you for listening to Canines and Cross Tracks. Great job, Kelly. Really well done. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate it. You know, it's going to be a lot easier editing, though. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Now, we miss Kelly. She helps. She's like the glue. Or something. Or something. (laughs) Hey, college football fans, let's go bowling. The National Capital Region's college football bowl game is the Military Bowl, presented by GoBowling.com. 2023 will feature the Virginia Tech Hokies battling the Tulane Green Wave on Wednesday, December 27th at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis. Get your tickets now at militarybowl.org. The Military Bowl, much more than a game. The Military Bowl benefits active duty and veteran service members. So get ready, Annapolis. It's Virginia Tech and Tulane in the Military Bowl. Presented by GoBowling.com. Visit militarybowl.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.